bend it up on this side a little bit, and it'll be level. Then we'll put two quarts of bricks, and we'll put the barbecue. I'll get back to you when we get the lentils. So we went to Bunnings to pick up concrete lentils. These are reinforced steel through them, but they also are uh, a sleeper effect. That's what they are, and they're too long. So we had to cut them, as you can see. And we also have to cut one this way as well, down here. Okay, we'll get back to you in a sec. And uh, this is the first one laid. So, as you can see, we're pretty much on the money. So, that will be a concrete effect going through there with a course of bricks over the top of that again. I'll lay these and get back there. So we put some mud along the wall. We put some mud in here as well. And we're going to put some mud on both sides of this. So as when it fits in, it'll be a joint. So, that should be level. A couple of ways. Should be level like so. And it might even be, that's not bad, that's okay. But we gotta make the brickwork up to here, which is our green line for our barbecue. Cut the last one. This is one six T5. I'll get back here. So this is our barbecue level. It looks pretty good. So we fill this in with uh, fill this in with brick. And it is a bit of a it is a bit of a water joint. We'll make a tighter mortar mix up, stronger mortar mix up, and we will uh, fit the brick. So, yeah, we have enough cuts there. We break the bond up every so often. Right, we put the like so along the front. We'll take it from there. We'll get back there when I get it in. There all day with the trap. This is our line. You can't make a mistake. Yeah?
Tora. A little bit low at the back, but it won't go too far. Now we bond it. Back here. Right, so it's level from end to end. It's, it's square and flush all the way through. But we're going to make up a slurry mix. It's starting to rain. We're going to mix up a slurry mix and fill all the gaps. Make sure it's very tight, solid. Yeah, when we get the slurry done.